My mind is still absolutely blown by the capabilities of the new GPT-4 Vision from OpenAI. And I would like to share with you a really quick example of how it could be really useful to take a task which might have once taken thousands of hours and really boil it down to a few simple lines of code. And I'm actually going to start here on TripAdvisor. Uh, and, and I'm looking at a particular restaurant. And this is a local restaurant to where I am. And it's very delicious. And imagine if I'm looking at this restaurant and I click on this image of some pasta. Uh, and all I want to know is which menu item is that. So here's all the menu items. But what is this pasta? It looks delicious. I want to be able to purchase that. Now, unfortunately, the person who uploaded this photo didn't sort of uh, explain what that is. Uh, and this is where ChatGPT can become really useful with vision. Now, I'm going to go through a once off example in this video, but I want you to start thinking about the really cool projects we can start building out with the power of Python and API integrations to be able to automate some stuff that would normally take, again, thousands of hours. So think about a world where you've got a thousand images, but you don't know which menu item is, or you've got a menu, but you've got no way of automatically linking it to the image. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, photo of the menu directly from TripAdvisor and say, can you provide a list of menu items? And I feel like that's step one. Let's get a list of menu items because once we ask GPT to provide a list of menu items, then we can show it a photo and say, Hey, which menu item is in this photo? Uh, and for, in my mind, I'm, I'm getting all these ideas and, and drop a comment if you've got any crazy ideas of how we can sort of use this to automate some really sort of labor intensive tasks. Uh, I'm going to speed this up while this is generating uh, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's even pointed out that please note this is not a complete list as some items are obscured or partially visible. It blows my mind. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and say, drop that photo in and say, what is the most likely menu item for this dish? Um, and whilst I'm using, I guess, the quote front end of ChatGPT Vision, um, just remember that this is all available through quite literally a couple of lines of code. We just literally pass it an image URL and ask a question and get that back automatically. So we can do this at scale. We can do this thousands of times. So let's go back to our ChatGPT. And there it is. By looks at most likely catch your peppy. It's correct. That's incredible. Um, and just like that. Now, if we were doing this in an automated automated fashion. Two things that I would change about these queries. The first one is I would ask for valid JSON data back. So we've got this structured data set that we can interrogate, maybe put into a database, do some really cool stuff with there. And I'll do the same with the image recognition. I would ask it to provide a JSON format. So I can probably just show you that now. Uh, in the following JSON format, provide what dish, whoops, dish this is from the menu. Now, if we were doing this through API, we would likely have to provide the menu each time to provide some context, hence why it's useful to have it in a JSON format. Uh, from is from the menu, and then I'm just going to say uh, dish, and then dish name. Oops, dish, where are we? Dish name. Okay, enter on that. And let's see if it's going to come back with the word dish and then the name of the dish. Oh, boom, there it is. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> uh, can, can you please return the following format? Let's try it one more time. This time around, we've got uh, dish. Okay. And we'll ask, and that's going to return you have dish name. Uh, and then what we can say is we can say something like price and we can have a price be returned. Let's see if it does it this time. So we're going again. It's thinking, okay, dish. Okay, great. And there's the price, $32. And if I look at the menu, I think that's actually correct. Uh, where is it? Yep, $32. That's, uh, again, I'm blown away. Now, I have used the front end of, of ChatGPT for this, only because I'm still experimenting, having a bit of a play. I encourage you to do the same. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got we've got three um, data analytics end-to-end -end courses, sort of three episodes up on that. At the moment, we're going to be doing heaps more with Python. We're doing web scraping. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff with with APIs and OpenAI and a whole bunch of other large language models and how we can integrate them into our existing analysis and our sort of data automation. So stick around for those. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with 
how tasks that yeah once took thousands of hours by humans can now potentially be automated and, and just made so much better so make sure you stick around uh, for more videos um, please hit that subscribe button give this video a like drop a comment of what your thoughts are and yeah go write some code